Netroots UK, we're lucky to talk to Karina Brisby from the Voice Blogger Project. And she's going to, do, to give us a small overview of her presentation for the unlucky people who couldn't attend uh, the conference. So what's it about? Well, Voice Blogging Project basically enables people who are existing bloggers, but also people that want to blog, to connect to issues they want to talk about. So we connect bloggers up with NGOs, with media organisations, and we help them reach a bigger audience. And we also help um, NGOs with issues they want to work on. We help them connect to bloggers so more people can talk about their issues. And when you say we, uh, is that a big structure uh, organising this, or is that you by yourself? <laughs> We, we is me and uh, one other person, so it's a very small structure, but because um, blogging is very based on networking and very based on working with other people, we basically use the power of the network to get what we need to be done. And so we work with, so if we work with an NGO, we expect them to help us deliver what we need. If we work with bloggers, they help each other out, and so that's why it's sort of a two-person operation at the moment in our spare time. <laughs> So as I understand, you organise several events where these bloggers were invited, where they shouldn't usually uh, be uh, have access. And what were the outcomes of this? Well, the outcomes are that people get to go to things like UN climate change conferences, to G20 events, where they would normally not invite bloggers who were not affiliated with a big media organisation. So we provide that sort of security for institutions to have a, a, a structure for bloggers to come in and they get to have an experience they would normally not get um, which is interesting and I think as blogging is becoming more and more important and it's driving more and more decisions and discussion and news agendas it's really important that we get bloggers to these big key events How do you choose these bloggers? Which, what's your criteria for this? Um, well we, we, you know, we um, unabashedly say that we have a progressive view on things um, and we have a code of conduct that we work to as well because we don't want people that are going to be abusive or anything like that. But we base a lot of our recommendations on what pe people online tell us. So if they say, actually, we really like what this person's saying about this issue, we'll take that recommendation, we'll talk to them and see. And they also need to commit to help the project as well. So we, um, that's the way that we uh, choose people. So what's the next step in UK or oh, close to us? What's the next event you're going to organise and people maybe can, can participate? Well, the big thing coming up for us is Blog Action Day. So Blog Action Day is a day where all around the world on October 16th, bloggers um, who they could be a blogger that works on a social marketing blog or they could blog about their dog. But they, it's one day they choose that every, every, we offer every blogger around the world to actually talk about one important issue on one day and to get every and from all the different perspectives and so we can talk about lots of different angles from a particular um, issue and it's a, way, a good way to get people introduced to more blogging about issues rather than things and um, it's really a, a great fun day but it's also makes a big impact so again what's the website for people to get more information about this well blog action day is bl um, blogactionday.org and um, also follow us on twitter on at blogactionday12 and uh, sign up and it will be great to see you all take part in Blog Action Day. Okay, thank you very much uh, Karina for talking to us. Uh, you heard about all these links uh, where you can actually uh, document and have information about these uh, blogging uh, events. We'll have more videos on the networks coming soon. Thank you for watching. <laughs>